Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we have a bit of a short news video, but it might not be short because I have a lot to say about what's happening. Um, we'll see how we go. But anyway, we got three main topics to cover. Um, we're going to go over the JP stuff first, and then we're going to go over the global stuff, um, just because one of the JP things is very big. Besides what you're seeing on your screen, and this isn't even, well... The biggest thing in my opinion, I, I don't know, we'll get into it though. So basically, um, we got these two notices on JP last night. Um, this little teaser, and then is this the same one? Yes, it is. This little teaser right here. Basically, um, these are teasers for the new Super Saiyan 4 Goku stuff that we're going to be getting in July, which is actually only like next week. Um, this is a teaser for the event, obviously, you know, with the Great Ape, that makes sense. Um, and then this is a teaser for a new GT story event, like a Super 17 story event. And what I believe it's teasing, as you can see, Super Saiyan 4... I believe this Goku Dokkan awakens into a Super Saiyan 4 and makes Super Saiyan 4 Goku formable. I have not seen that confirmed anywhere, but that's just, you know, my guess based on what this says here. And I think that's pretty safe to assume making uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku formable. So that would be pretty dope. Um, and as you can see here too, this is what's even more interesting about this. Uh, full power, uh, I almost said Super Saiyan Goku. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku and new GT Super 17 story event will be on the 1st of July. July. We did think that, um, at least Goku, we obviously didn't know about this until now, um, but we did think that Super Saiyan 4 Goku was coming out July 4th, but he is in fact coming out July 1st, so that is pretty dope, um, definitely keep an eye out on the channel, I'm gonna be doing summons on that 100%. We'll see how many I do, though, because of the next topic. But, yeah, I wanted to go over that real quick just because, you know, that um, is now updated information we have. Cool that it's coming out a little bit sooner than we thought. Um, I just wanted to check what that was. But, yeah, no, um, the... Uh, I think it was the V jump said early July. Um, I don't know where the July 4th date came from, if that was specifically in there or if it just said July 4th in general. Um, but either way though, we now know hundred percent July 1st is when our boy is coming. So that is very cool. Thank you Zahal, by the way, uh, for confirming that my boy here. Anyway, um, here is a very big topic that I hope you guys um, discuss with me in the comments here because I'm very interested to hear what you have to say about this. Um, let me, I don't know why I didn't open the original tweet, but let me do that real quick. So basically, um, last night, with the update for Dokkan, um, oh wow, I actually, uh, okay. <laughs> wow, I forgot that this tweet, this uh, thread was so long, right? All right, let me open this part again then. So basically, last night, right, um, I was chilling on Twitter, and I saw this tweet, um, and a lot of people were up in arms about it. So obviously here he's screenshotting the, uh, the two things that we just talked about, right? But the interesting part is where it says um, with the second part here. With the latest update of Dokkan, the game detects if you buy Dragonstones from third parties. So don't do it anymore, at least in JP. So let's read over before I actually give my thoughts and talk about this. Let's read over the information that we have right now. Um, Dokkan Art HD, I've talked about them on the channel before. Um, they are a fantastic account. Definitely recommend following them. Besides just tweeting really good Dokkan uh, Art in HD, which I'm actually going to make a video on how to do. Um, they do a little bit more editing though than just making it HD, so that's pretty cool. But they also tweet out some, um, very helpful and interesting information, so definitely go follow them too. Uh, latest update detects third-party bot Dragonstones, lol what? Anyone else confirm this? Because IDK, what was posted with the new stuff come to JP and never saw anything about it till now. Um, and then the account, um, that made this tweet, this by the way is a Spanish Dokkan News account, um, they seem pretty reputable to me. I've never heard of them personally, um, and I'm pretty good on keeping on top of Dokkan accounts to follow. Um, but to me, they seem pretty good. Obviously, you know, they're not official. We know that. But um, they seem, you know, pretty reputable in my eyes. But they definitely are, at least in this regard, because of some stuff that um, happened later on. So replying to Dokkan Art HD's uh, tweet, this original account said, I saw Ginta Gill posting that. Um, maybe the info I got was wrong, but it seemed real. Let's see if Ginta replies to this with a tweet to confirm. Um, and I just hadn't heard anything until I saw your tweet, so I was curious, of course, it won't happen. <laughs> and then he says, of course, it happens just when I want to start getting discounted stones, LOL. Rip. Um, 
Rip Dokon on HD, which actually his name is Hydro Plays, I believe, the guy behind the account. But anyway, that's irrelevant right now. Um, so you're probably curious to know. Um, Ginta, the person they were talking about right here, says can confirm. Let me open in a new tab. Um, I know you guys might not know who this is. He is pretty well known in the Dokkan community, but I know that um, I've not really heard of him. I've only heard of him offhand. I've never really dug into kind of a little bit deeper um, of what he is, but um, he is basically a supplier for LB stones, which is a limit breaker stones and blazing trove. He is the supplier for both of those different stone, uh, stone shops, <laughs> stone shops. I've heard of both of them before. Um, both of them are pretty good, but he is the stone supplier. Um, he, he's the dealer if you will, <laughs> but anyhow, um, he basically confirms because he is the person that it seems at least to me right now, um, in the community that is most knowledgeable about, um, everything that's happening with this. And basically he, um, quote retweets a tweet and says, can confirm. So that is very interesting. Um, let's take a look at some more information about this. He makes another quote tweet. I can still buy. The message pops up, then disappears and pops up again after a few purchases, but it doesn't do anything. I'll just stop offering Dokkan Japan until I see what's happening. So, from what it seems like to me, um, because obviously they said you can detect third-party stones, and for me this is very confusing, because, um, I mean, unless stone shops are giving false information, which I don't think they are, and I would hate if they were, but from my understanding and how it's been explained to me by like me, you know, asking stone shops how they work before is that they take your account, they transfer it to a country where the currency exchange is lower and then they purchase the stones in the in-game store there and then obviously give you your account back. So what's confusing to me is that like, I mean, I guess, you know, you kind of know like, I don't know, the only way I could see them actually knowing if you're doing this is if you, or if they're using IP tracking, because this is something that Pokemon Go did to stop, um, to stop, like, um, when they faked the, um, what do you call it, the GPS signal, um, basically it's like IP detection, right, or at least that's how I would assume they would do it, right, so, like, Obviously, you know, if your account goes from, you know, I live um, in the States to all the way in, you know, some <laughs> country halfway across the world, obviously that's going to raise some red flags, right? Transferring the account right to there and then using it to only purchase stones and then sending it right back to the States, right? That would be the only way that I could see that they could detect that, right? Like there's, I don't think that they have any other way of like scanning it or something, but obviously, you know, they track your IP, right? When it goes from wherever you are, um, to, you know, the other country and back, they obviously track the location, like I said, via the IP, but that's the only way I could see them doing it. I don't know how else they would be able to track this. Um, it, it's, it's very interesting to me, um, how that this is actually happening. But anyway, Back to what we're seeing on our screen here. For now, it just seems like it is a warning message that pops up um, and disappears, like he said, after a few purchases. I don't know if this pops up um, when you're just purchasing stones normally. Um, I did get stones last night. I just got like the $1 one for, you know, three stones. Um, at least I think I did. I'll actually open up Dokkan to check real quick. Um, but nonetheless... Um, like, you know, if it's just the warning, then that's fine. Um, we are going to go over a little bit more information about this, but I did want to kind of give some of my, uh, my personal thoughts there. Um, but anyway, that like, th that's what I'm saying though, I think is the only way that they would be able to track it. Cause I don't know how else they would, because even if you are buying from a stone shop, someone, you know, at some point is still purchasing, stones from the in-game shop yeah i did actually buy the uh the one dollar one last night oh well but yeah um so that's why i'm like curious about how this is all working right um so he also seems kind of like genta doesn't really know totally what's happening yet um he's just kind of giving the information that he knows so here um he actually made a thread if you have any questions about um japan dokkan and what's happening feel free to ask in this thread I'll try and answer with every question or every question with my knowledge and some accurate prediction. 
I want to make sure everyone knows about it so you can ease yourself, right? So I did ask a question here. Um, he, I checked his last tweet and he's not been on in like four hours. So I'm assuming that he's obviously away from Twitter right now. Um, so, you know, not going to dog on him, obviously, for not answering my question. That's just stupid. But I asked him, does the warning pop up even when you purchase stones regularly? I don't understand how they can detect if you're just transferring your account to someone in another region and they're purchasing stones from the in-game shop. Literally just what I explained, right? So I don't know. But I kind of wanted to go through some of the tweets in here, um, just because there's some interesting little tidbits of information. Of course, as per usual, I will leave all this stuff linked in the description below. And real quick, shameless plug, if you want the information as soon as it drops, go head over to my Discord. We have a Dokkan News uh, channel where we post the news as soon as it happens. Um, all of this is actually posted in there already, but like I said, I make a video more explaining it um, always. So anyway, but the news gets posted in the Discord first. But anyhow, let's get on this, right? Um, so this person asked, will it be the end of discount stones? Ginta says possibly currently it's only defect or affecting, excuse me, Japan. Also it hasn't been any actions of as yet only a warning. So basically what he's saying here is that for now, global is fine for purchasing, um, third party stones. And like he said, there's only a warning. So if you purchased third party stones in the past, you're not going to get banned or anything like that. Now, if we keep reading, uh, we'll we'll talk about that in a second. This person kind of made an interesting comment, though. Knowing the risk, can we still buy discount stones? He said, yep, if you agree the risk, I can still offer to you. So that's interesting um, that this person's still willing. Uh, that was just specifically about orders. Are we still getting our orders from Japan? If you allow me to buy, yes, I recommend a wait, though. I can refund any time. So this is interesting, though. Ginta himself um, is saying that he recommends to wait. So I purchased, uh, I, I meant to say personally, but I combine it with purchase. Sorry. Um, I personally am not going to purchase, um, any stones from the stone shop. I usually do or any stone shop for a hot minute, at least for JP Docom. I know that's, it's going to stink, <laughs> especially for me, but I obviously don't want to lose my account and all of the, you know, time and effort I've put into it. Um, and especially since Ginta himself, you know, the supplier is saying, Hey, I'd hold off for right now. I would definitely do the same if I were you, if you are someone who purchases third-party stones just like me. That's what I'm going to do for right now until we get more information about this. Um, real quick, I do want to mention, I am, uh, I mean, I just DM'd him about it, but I am going to try and get an interview with Ginta if I can to come on the channel and have him uh, explain this in a little bit more detail. So if that happens, you guys will see that video. If not, oh well. Um, but I did DM him asking if he could do an interview. So we'll see how that goes. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. But anyhow, um... This guy doesn't mind the risk, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. So, I get into global player here, but wondering what they're going to do. You think they will target accounts or just ban vendors? If they ban players, it's time to go out in style. <laughs> uh, they won't ban accounts right now. Um, they're warning, meaning they're not planning to do any actions if you stop using third-party stones after seeing the warning. So that is something very important to note. Like I said, if you've already purchased third-party stones in the past, they're not going to, you know, ban your account. Um, so, you know, I'm fine in terms of my account right now. I literally logged in and I was playing this morning. Um, so I'm not, you know, in any worry right now. I'm like very complacent. Um, but I would definitely say, like he's saying, don't use third-party stones right now, at least, um, until we really know, you know, how this works. Um, so, yeah, like he said, just don't do anything afterward. Basically, if you stop, you're absolutely fine. It's just a warning, right? So, that is something very important to note. This tweet right here is very important. Um, that is just a warning. So, um, right here, only Dokkan or other games, only Dokkan uh, JP at the moment. So, that is something else that's very important to note. Um if this will eventually make its way to other games in the future, because as you can see by Ginta's banner back here, actually, I think this is account, yeah? He offers all kinds of games, Blazing, Dokkan, uh, I think that's Digimon Lynx, Fate Grand Order, Dissidia, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, I forget, Unchained, there we go, the SAO game, Integral Factor, Treasure Cruise, Fire Emblem Heroes, My Hero Academia Smash Tap, Legends, and the Final Fantasy game. All that stuff he offers, um, you know, cheap stones for. So a lot of these games as well are run by Bandai. So if they're doing this, um, we have no idea. You know, this could maybe come to every one of these games in the future. We have no idea. But of course, that's, um, you know, only a thought in the wind to just kind of keep in mind. For now, every other game is safe, though, besides JP Docom. Don't need to look at that post. That was somebody. I don't know if they're memeing or being serious, but it doesn't matter. 
Um, hypothetically speaking, if both versions of Dokkan share the same fate, will you continue to offer other games still? And he says, of course, which is good. Um, and then this person commented with a happy face. What do you think the warning will be about? I'm thinking refunds and canceled purchases, but I'm not sure. Uh, it says a purchase cannot be processed. Then it still gets processed after like two minutes and you get the stones. So that's very interesting. I'm kind of confused on how this is worded here. Um, like how this actually works. I don't know. Um, what it, what I feel like it means is like you purchase it and then it says, oh, cannot be processed. And then a couple minutes later, it gives you the stones. Um, and he says, ah, okay, thank you. I'm still trying to understand. Um, so I don't know. Um, still kind of confused on how it exact, exactly works right now. Right? Like I said, we kind of don't know everything yet. Um, with the increased, uh, new risk, will you be offering lawyer prices or not offering until you find out what's going on? Not offering. So that's good. Um, let's see. Where is any proof of this rule going into effect anytime remotely soon? I've seen no proof as of yet. I'm proof enough. You can trust me, LOL. Why would I try and ruin my own little business with this? And he makes a good point. Um, obviously, Ginta being the supplier of all this stuff, he, you know, obviously doesn't want to ruin his own business. And of course, I mean, you know, Dokkan is one of the biggest Scotch games out there, if not the biggest Scotch game. And of course, you know, cutting JP out of the equation of this is obviously going to, um, you know, make his uh, sales drop a lot just in terms of profit. Just because, you know, obviously if he cuts out a whole game as big as Dokkan, <laughs> especially with my man Truce buying 10,000 stones on the casual. So I don't know. But anyway, um, so I, I mean, I said, I don't know about just kind of memeing, but anyway, uh, yeah, so basically he just says I'm proof enough. And honestly, um, I definitely trust him here. So, and if I trust him, I feel like you guys should trust me that I trust him. Right. So anyway, um, I'm not, I'm sure Dokkan will take a blow from this. Um, not a big one though. What about global Dokkan? It's good. Nothing as of yet. Um, right, right, right. I'm really curious how they're able to detect this. Maybe they're using this with the F, uh, GEO. I don't know. I know that's fake go obviously, but I don't know what that exactly is thing with transfer. I'm not really sure myself. If I knew I would have somehow tried to find a way to prevent it. So there you go. Um, I don't know. Maybe if it is like the IP thing that I'm speculating, maybe the vendor could use a VPN and still be in the United States. I'm not sure. Um, and I hope this doesn't affect too, like, just normal accounts because i know for me personally um my boy abelot um i get stones for him all the time uh we're on that like mega trust level i have his um i have his card on my phone so whenever he needs to buy stones either he'll get the discounted ones which i'm gonna let him know don't do that for right now um he's actually away right now he's on a um what do you call it? You guys know he's in the Navy, my buddy Abelot. Um, he's out at sea right now, so he's not at shore right now. I have his account actually on my phone. But um, but anyway, so when he uses uh, when he gets the discounted stones, obviously it only works on Android, so he puts it on my phone and then I do the summons for him. Um, and then of course, you know, if he actually just wants to purchase a stones normally, you know, with his regular card or whatever, you know, then I can do that for him. Um, so I hope that this doesn't like block that from happening because that would just be, you know, stupid. Because obviously my man's is in California and I'm in Illinois, and if it's like, oh, there's a problem there, you know, you're getting, you know, third party stones, it's like, no, I'm just trying to guess some stones for my mans you know so i hope that that doesn't happen because i remember um i was talking about pokemon girl oh, go earlier um where they do something similar um to find out if you know you're using a uh, a gps spoof basically what that is is you can fake your gps location and obviously in pokemon go that's a big deal since the whole game revolves around gps you know so going to another location and you know catching pokemon that you normally couldn't catch obviously that's kind of a problem for them so um you know they obviously use some ip tracking to stop that from happening but i remember reading a story before um where there were two brothers one of them was in the states and one of them was another country halfway across the world and they would share the same dokkan account so then they could build up their collection in pokemon go and catch account from um you know or excuse me catch pokemon excuse me from the one region and then catch pokemon from the other region right but it would all be on the same account and their account ended up getting banned because niantic thought that they were ip spoofing um even though you know they were just sharing the account and logged in you know on two different phones in two different countries right so I hope that the same situation does not happen with Dokkan here because that would definitely be a big problem. Uh, the worst part for me personally is I just want to, I just got a big overtime paycheck and could have bought stones with rip. 
this was a really nice tweet though i probably won't buy any more third party stones because don't want to risk it um they have now acknowledged it already but i want to say i'm grateful for you and um limit breaker stones and the other vendors for even giving us this chance for cheaper stones to begin with thanks a lot you guys this this tweet i'm gonna give that a like that's a really great tweet um but anyway most of these do not have answers yet um this one does though i love this guy's this Twitter account is hilarious. Anyway, in your opinion, is a ban wave incoming? Or are they just gonna somehow prevent stones um, from buying vendors now? Probably just gonna purchase, uh, probably just purchase ban from the in-game shop. I can assure you, one hundred percent safety that nothing will happen. Um, if your account, if you stop buying third-party stones after the update, hmm, that would hurt them if they ban people from purchases via the in-game shop. Do you think there's any way to bypass the detection? I'm also curious how they filter those people, like via IP or some kind of hardware ID. Um, so this was a big thing if people do end up getting banned and i know this video is getting kind of long i apologize i know i said it was going to be short but we have a lot of information to discuss here so it's and it's important to discuss as well um but anyway basically this guy is saying right um do you think they'll ban people from purchases in the in-game shop um right so now they're probably just, or well ginta says here sir so sorry about that he says um now probably just ban purchases from the in-game shop so he's saying not obviously if you buy stones from the in-game shop like they're not going to ban you for doing that then they're <laughs> then they're going to make no money that's just stupid he's saying um if they are um you know still buying stones after this update um from a third party right and, um, you know, then they will ban you from purchasing any stones in the in-game shop is what he's trying to say. So if you, you know, you purchase third-party stones after the update, then you could possibly get banned from um, purchasing stones at all in the in-game shop. And then obviously you got to live that free-to-play life. And at that point, you might as well just quit the game. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is something very interesting to keep in mind. Obviously, I don't want to take that risk because I still want to be able to purchase stones, you know, regardless whether or not they cost a buttload but anyhow i don't think yeah that's the end of the um the thread there but i just kind of wanted to go through that just because i feel like it's important information um like we said that's pretty much everything we know about that right now um unfortunately we don't have any more information at this time it seems like too ginta is still kind of trying to figure out what's going on um he kind of like it seems like he kind of knows only a little bit he obviously you know no excuse me he i keep stuttering i don't know why i apologize he knows that right now it's not safe to use third party stones on jp docom but he's not exactly sure you know if there's a way to prevent it or how exactly they um you know detect you doing so right so like i said i'm gonna try and get this dude on for an interview if i can um, I don't know if I'll be able to, that would be really cool. Um, definitely welcome on the channel because, you know, I mean, as much as I'm a smaller joke on YouTuber, you know, still have, it seems like a decent audience, I guess. Um, and you know, I want to, you know, be able to give, uh, Ginta a platform and I'm very curious as well. Like this kind of stuff really intrigues me just from the logistics and like the technical standpoint. So let's see if we can get them on. I will of course let you guys know on the discord and Twitter and whatnot, um, but yeah, so we're moving on now. Um, I apologize for that segment being so long, but it's something that very, uh, much interests me because obviously this same fate could happen to global as well. And I know a lot of people do, um, you know, purchase third party stones from global. And I know a lot of people have always been kind of, uh, shaky about, um, buying stones from stone shops, which I never was, but I feel like it's good information for both parties, right? And also, if you are one of those people, please don't go harassing anyone in the comments or making a rude comment about it. That's just unnecessary, right? No point in starting beef. It's, you know, it's no point. But anyway, moving on here. Now we're finally on our global stuff. Um, this won't be as much information um, as obviously anything else that we went over in this video, but... Um, we do have some very cool information about Global and the third year anniversary celebration. Um, basically, Kawhi, um, he is a French data miner and he translates a lot of stuff um, on Twitter, obviously. Or not translates, he data mines a lot of stuff on um, Twitter, right? Basically, this is just a bunch of tweets about how, you know, the two events, the LR, uh, LRs are, you know, translated. Um, the LRs are partially translated. Some of the missions, you know, obviously some of the new stuff coming. Um, obviously, these are some, right? These are some, like, JP things um, that, you know, have yet to be translated on the actual art. And he's talking about here, you know, summary of all the events and stuff. Obviously, this is in French, so that's why I'm not particularly going over it. 
but you guys know what happened in the 30 anniversary. Um, if you need a reminder, I'm going to try and find the link to the celebration that was posted on the Reddit because it's a lot of information and this video will be like 40 minutes long if we go over all of it. So if you need a reminder of everything that was in the 3 anniversary, I will try and find that link and throw it in the description below. Um, but yeah, anyhow, he's basically just saying, right, that a lot of this stuff is being translated. But the big tweet that the reason why we're here is this one right here. The question is very much asked. The celebration of the three years begins on the 7th of July. So it is confirmed that Global's three-year anniversary celebration will begin on July 7th, only a few days after Super Saiyan 4 Goku drops. It is going to be a very hype for both Dokkan versions, or I meant to say, well, I guess that's true, but I meant to say a very hype time for both Dokkan versions. So that is going to be uh, very cool. Very excited for that to come to Global. I know a lot of people are as well. July 7th, mark your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. That is when the three-year anniversary is coming to Global. Um, so that is awesome. I'm actually going to go throw this in Discord because I don't think uh, I have yet. But anyhow, um, that'll be after the video. Now, real quick, I do want to cover one more thing about Global here. Um, obviously, this is just, you know, I seriously, another French data miner. Um, actually, I don't know if this guy, I, I, I think, well, Kwai's French? I don't know. He's rocking a different flag than I seriously is. But anyhow, basically, I seriously was just tweeting, you know, some of the sort of same stuff. And, you know, he was retweeting uh, some of Kawhi's stuff. But um, the interesting thing about his tweet here, right? is that he was basically saying um, that the Capacha system is now on global. If you guys remember a couple updates ago, um, this came to JP, where once you log into the game for the first time, or, um, you know, you're re-rolling or whatever, you have to complete this little Capacha where you drag the puzzle piece into the empty space and then click OK. Um, funny enough, this is actually in English, right? Please complete the puzzle verification to log in. Hold and drag the piece to complete the puzzle and then tap OK to play Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. If the puzzle is too complicated, tap on the reload button in the bottom right corner and try another one. Sometimes these puzzles, like... The pictures that they use are kind of disorienting and like you can't really see where the missing pieces like this one's even a little bit hard to see um but sometimes they're like really hard to see so even i've had to reload it before i mean like i'm not stupid trying to toot my own horn on a capacha i'm not but i'm saying like it happens a lot where you know it's it's very confusing and you can't really see where the puzzle piece is that's the point i'm trying to make so just reload it if you need to, um, you know, it's not that difficult to do the Kapacha either. Um, you know, he was saying rip fast rerolls here. Um, but even so, it's still really not that slow. Um, literally, it's just every time you reroll, then you just have to, you know, do the Kapacha again. So not that big a deal um but this is now coming to global so if you see this don't be alarmed just drag the puzzle piece in there and then click ok and you're all good um if it won't let you transfer your account as well i've had this issue before if you can't transfer your account um sometimes what you have to do is click on the home screen like you're going like this is if you you know download a fresh copy of dokkan um and then right and then you go to transfer and it won't let you transfer your account sometimes what you have to do is you have to click on the home screen solve the capacha and then the game will act like it's going to you know give you a brand new account obviously you know you're not losing your old account because it's still backed up with the code or your facebook account but then all you have to do is after you complete the capacha and it starts to download the new stuff um or the new account i should say then you just, you know, close the app and then you log back in and transfer your account then because obviously then it senses that the Kapatch is completed and, you know, then your regular account will be on there no problem. It just overwrites the, the new data that it was trying to, uh, you know, download. But yeah, so just figured I'd throw that out there just in case you guys ever had that problem because I know I've had it before and it freaked me the heck out. Um, but I'm sure it'll be easier on global anyway because, you know, obviously it's in English. But anyhow, just figured I'd throw that in there. Um, very interesting stuff. I know this was a lot longer than I was planning on it being. Um, um, but it was definitely some information that I felt like needed to be talked about. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Again, like I said, I'm going to try and get Ginta on for an interview. So if we can do that, that would be fantastic. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Get hyped for that global three-year anniversary either way. Very cool. Come on July 7th. I think that's a lot sooner than actually we all thought that it was going to be coming. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to get you out. Peace.